Electric cars are finally here. The Nissan Leaf and the Chevrolet Volt have been on sale since the beginning of the year, and we're getting used to how they work. I'm always struck by what a great car it is. So it's very smooth to accelerate. It's a nice ride. The biggest surprise is how little cost they cost to charge it. My last month for 30 days was $15 to charge it. Anxiety about battery life is probably the biggest concern of electric car owners. The Leaf averages 73 miles per charge according to the EPA. And the Volt can run for 35 miles on a charge, but the Volt also has a range-extending gas engine, which kicks in to provide electric power when the battery is running low. I can drive almost every day on electricity only. I don't need to use gas except when I go visit my parents down in uh, you know, the South Bay, which is uh, about 60 miles away. And even then, I don't need to use very much gas. So I get the benefits of driving an electric car most of the time, and then just using a little bit of gas when I need it. And charging is no more difficult than plugging in your smartphone. Gosh, I don't have a charging station. I just plug it into my garage with the charger that it comes with. I just literally, you know, it looks like an extension cord. You plug it into your wall. Charging an electric car at home is very economical, anywhere from $1.50 to $4. And it's not dangerous. The power required is equivalent to running a hairdryer. I'm Chris Hansen.